Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Pentax KS2. A big, big thank you must go out to Park Cameras for sending me this out. You can find a link to their website in the video description. Now I'm very excited to bring you this unboxing for a couple of reasons really. Firstly, I think Pentax is a brand that many people overlook. They always stick to main brands, Nikon, Canon, Sony, for example, and they do some fantastic cameras with really good features. And the second reason I'm very excited about this one is because it's the smallest weather-resistant SLR camera, and this is the kit that comes with the 18 to 50 millimeter lens, also a brand new lens to Pentax, a new compact lens that's also weather-resistant. Now I'll go over some of the other specifications as I'm unboxing it, but let's take a look inside the box. So we've got a little message here from Pentax, and then we've also got European warranty inside the box. We've got their sort of quick start guide, printed manual. We've got some warranty paperwork. We've got Silky Pix Digital Camera Utility 2 software, some additional packaging. And then if we go down into the main section of the box, I'll just quickly show you how this is presented. So really nicely laid out, very, very neatly packed in there. So we we'll start with this back compartment. We've got a Pentax branded shoulder strap. Then we have got a battery charger. I like the fact that we get external battery chargers. I mentioned this in a lot of my videos. I prefer to charge in a charger rather than in camera. I know in camera is convenient because you just do it with a USB cable, but this way you can keep a spare battery charge. I think that's really important. We've got a figure eight and three pin UK plug for that charger. We've also got a European two pin plug inside this bag here. I'm not gonna take those out of the bags for now. Then we've got the battery. Let's see what battery we've got. We have got a 1050 milliamp hour battery. Nice slimline battery actually for quite a reasonable capacity. And then we've got two more compartments. One over here is going to be the lens. So this is Pentax's new lens, as I mentioned earlier, uh, 18 to 50 millimeter, weather resistant lens, f4.5 to 5.6. The back is a plastic mount, which is not too bad. We're not fussed about that. It is a kit lens after all. This is what the front element looks like. There's a little push button there as well that does something. We'll check that out in a short while. And as you can see here, WR, which indicates that it's weather resistant, 58 millimeter filter thread, if you're wondering what sort of thread you'll need. And then the main compartment of the box contains the actual camera. Now, I'm super excited about this. Now, the Pentax KS2 comes in different color combinations, and I have got the black and orange one, which is really nice. I probably would have preferred the black, but black and orange has got my favorite orange color on here, really looking very, very nice indeed. Now, before I give you a look around the actual body of this camera, I'll let you know that it's got Wi-Fi and NFC built in, ded dedicated application for remote control, also selfie assistance, and it's also got the uh, top buttons here. You can actually assign, I think it's uh, one of the other buttons when you've got the uh, screen forward facing can be used to take a selfie, which is good. Uh, 20 megapixel stabilized CMOS sensor, and it hasn't got uh, an AA filter on here, so uh, should produce really sharp detail. Sensitivity up to 51,200 ISO, and full HD recording, 1080p, 30 frames per second, H.264. So that's sort of the main specifications for you. Now let's just take a, a little look around the actual body. If we start across the top, you can see just how deep this grip is. So nice ergonomic grip, good for medium to large size hands. We've got a mode dial just on the front of the grip here for changing settings. We've got the rocker switch for on, off and going into record mode. And then we've got an additional button here, which is for that selfie mode. And I would imagine also to stop and start recording. We've also got exposure compensation, a Wi-Fi button, and a main mode dial with all of your main modes on this turnable dial. It's got a nice positive feel to it. Probably not too easy to change accidentally. Uh, we've also got stereo microphones here, pop-up flash, 
just on here which pops up like like so i'll show you that again in a short while we've got connections here for the strap we've also got uh, i think this is is this diopter adjustment on the top yeah we've got diopter adjustment across the top of the viewfinder and then if we go round onto the back panel you see the pentax branding this opens out to the fully articulated screen this can obviously be tilted up down left right backwards forwards front facing as well we've also got trash can and live view button we've got another mode dial here af ael lock that's auto exposure lock for those of you who don't know little rubberized bit for your thumb to go on led light playback button controls for the menu and various options like white balance and iso info and menu buttons round on this side i will show you that flash again so we've got the flash that pops up like so nice sort of uh, sturdy mechanism there very very cool we've got raw fx controls here we've also got autofocus manual focus switch here which is really good a built-in three and a half millimeter microphone socket again very nice feature and then if we go around onto this side we have got the memory card slot which is under this flap here we've also got the nfc contact point and then we've got a little rubberized flap just here which we can open which has got the micro HDMI and micro USB sockets underneath. Let's just pop that back into place. And then we have a look across the bottom edge. So we've got the tripod mount here, and then we've also got the battery compartment, which opens like so. And this is where the orange color comes in as well. Is that going to close? Oh, it closes automatically. It's just me being silly. So there we go. That's what the back panel looks like. And it looks really nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's take a little quick look at the sensor. So it's an APS-C size sensor in there. You can't really see it because of the mirror being in the way. That's where you're going to mount the lens. In fact, let's pop the lens on for you just so you can see what it looks like with the new lens on, in place. So we're going to take this up. We've got a red dot here. Should be a red dot on the lens just here. So we're going to line those up like so. And then we can rotate this round and lock it into place. And that's what it looks like with the lens in place. A nice, solidly built camera. And don't forget, this is an entry level camera with some really great features. I love the sort of almost carbon fiber type effect on the top here. Very, very nice indeed. The grip. Yeah, it's, it's a, a nice deep grip, quite shallow in between the body of the camera and the lens, but feels very nice in the hand. Yeah, it's, a, it's overall, it feels very, very well built. Now I'm gonna be taking this out and about, getting some video footage, some photos, and then I'll be back to you to bring you a full look at the menu system, how the camera's performing, show you some sample photos. I'll also show you some sample video as well from the camera, so please do make sure you stay tuned for that. But that's it, this is my unboxing and first look at the Pentax KS2. Again, a big thank you goes out to Park Cameras for sending this out to me. Please do hit like on this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.